been sick. <laughs> I've been sick for Christmas. And it sucks. <laughs> so I'm finally back to painting after like four days of like literally laying on the couch. It was gross. So now I'm going to try and do some painting. Definitely need to add more green. It's a little too blue. Mm. Yeah, is not necessarily blue. And it looks good, right? Because it's sky. But it is not. Probably not the best idea. That, that already just looked more, uh, I guess realistic than what it was here. And it's already starting to add. Well, actually, it looks better now because this is not like, like blue. It's more of a realistic color. So. We're just adding that. I even added, I don't know if I have it on here, but it's like a forest green. It really adds some depth to your. doing that for a while, but I think I may have mm, a problem focusing, and mm, that's why I just kind of do it and mix all the canvas, which you're not really supposed to do. Thank you. 
So I hope this ends up looking somewhat how it looks in my head. We'll see. I've done a few paintings where, like, I had something envisioned in my head and then I put it on canvas and it didn't quite come out the way that I envisioned it. But, like, people still liked it. But I didn't necessarily, like, 100% love it because, like, I saw it differently in my head and I couldn't. I couldn't make the two ma match up no matter what I did. So, I'm going to put a brush, I'm going to find a different brush. I'm going to find a different brush. I found it. I watched that. There's that one guy that always does the mixing and he matches whatever they ask him to match. And he, that's amazing. So scary. I think I'm going to do these lines in the light, and then when it dries, I'm going to wash over it again with, um, with another blue, mm, or green, to give it more of a, a vibe. Water is very deceptive. It looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like this, how it, like, looks less. Like, I think I want this with more, like, water, and then have it just look like little shapes trailing off. Here on this side. 
message for him. I'm crazy. Um, let's see. see, I kind of want it to look like, like a tree that's been burned down. So these are like my inspiration pictures. Um, obviously, very different. Um, and then it was all originally a brown tree, and then was it last week I had basically kind of did a light wash of black over it and added some white while I had the black, and then other areas I added yellow and white so that when I put the embers on and that, that orangey and red, because my orange is very see through, um, it will. I keep hitting my stand. Um, my orange is very see-through, so if I put it on and it was all black, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so I, that's why I did it like this, even though it looks really weird now. There's a reason. Trial and error, I learned the hard way. I really sound terrible. I feel terrible, but not even that was it. Um, okay. That's the other problem. I was working on the water, and I'm in it, but I'm not fully in it. That makes sense, because I'm not feeling good. I'm going to try and do some on this side. Guess how a tree burns, and then you get like these deep ridges. And it's kind of like. And then you get like these like square shapes. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, you could see. Thing too. Oh, stupid thing, but oh, that's so interesting. But like, you're supposed to hold it on top, or like put it in a dry spot, and then put your hand on so like you don't smudge. But I smudge all the time. Direction. Uh, I think I'm gonna just like paint this as I go on my lives. Maybe this will be the painting I finish while I'm doing TikTok lives. Just looks like a solid line, but as it dries, you go back in and add just a little hint of detail that it's like bark and point up apart, and then hopefully it'll look better <laughs> one day. Uh, right now, I'm adding um, burnt.
making it look like it's burnt. So here we're going to have the embers. Mm. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't sit and lay on the couch every day, I had to do something. I also, like, did a deep clean today because I just, you know, you're sick and you have no energy to do anything and then everything is a mess. And you're like, ugh. I feel a little bit better. I'm trying not to push myself too much. Too far, but yes. that looks a lot better than whatever I did before. But I'm glad it's back. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white on there. It's not a lot. It's the, it's the little things. <laughs> it's the little things. See, like, there's this, like, a little texture. I don't know if you could see that on this one. Right here. That's, like, from buildup of other paint. But then when I went through with the thin layer, it really added some nice, like, crispy, crinkled texture. So that's good. That means I don't have to add it later. <laughs> And the new year, January 1st, is the 30 year old challenge that you know, the artist Andrea Nihon plays. Um, you can find her too far on Instagram. She's huge. She did everything. I love her. She's the best. Um, but she started the 31 day challenge, and I'm doing it the second time this year. I have all my canvases. I still have to have them. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow. As well. Uh, you know, I only got, I got five. Six, five. Six, five. Five days left of the year. It's, it's crazy. Um, this was one of my goals to finish. And I think I planned it. I like planned out each month. So I think I planned like February to really work on it. But I'm glad I have this time right now to start getting the ball rolling and really lay out like some, some foundational things that. I can always go back in later and focus on the details. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for